Uh, okay, well, hey, welcome back, guys. How you doing? Um, well, today is uh, today has been a special day. We've uh, we've got Sean with us, Sean Saley. Sean Saley with us, of course, and um, he has brought some pretty special uh, RC trucks with us, tiny trucks with us today, um, and we're going to do a rig review uh, and get into some of his. Uh, building techniques and um, what makes these so special so thank you for coming you're welcome um, thank you for having me yeah so we've got uh, we've got a, uh, four Chevys in front of us and we're gonna sort of go through each one and talk about them and sort of come into some details specific to each one uh, build techniques get into the chassis uh, and so on and so forth some of the parts you use and uh, some of the challenges that you had when you are, are building these. Um, Lots of challenges. Yeah, I'm sure there has. So, uh, really special day here at uh, GCM, and uh, Sean, we really thank you for coming again. No problem, thanks. Uh, so, we've got, uh, on the far end here, we've got, um, it looks like it's a new bright body. Uh, am I correct yes. when I say that? Yeah, okay. which has uh, been modified. Right. So, this is what? What is this? This is a Chevy, of it's course. A, it's, mm. I would imagine that's a, a 2011. Okay. Uh, it was just a straight Chevy. Okay. And then I decided I wanted to make a, a 250 out of it. Okay. Uh, with the dualies on it. Okay. The heavy duty one. Yep. And uh, that's... Uh, that's how I started. I said, I don't have a, a dually one. And sure. I figured, oh, what the hell, I'll make one. Now, um, let, let's let's understand the timeline. Was this before you got into some of the custom? Yes. Fully custom? You sort of, this was your first kick at the can? That's or? right. This okay. is how I got my feet wet. Okay. Uh, how to start, uh, you know, cutting the body. Right. Halfway and okay. just adding stuff. And then, you know, start working with styrene. Sure. And uh, and paints and all, the, all that type of of, uh, of uh, detailing stuff right without actually making the body right now um, so a new bright body uh, to be honest I don't know what this would have looked like stock uh, as a stock body so maybe you can sort of explain some of the things that you did to make this complete custom to you and and you he, Sean reads a good point um, you know, even for myself, to do a fully custom build uh, body is very daunting. I, I don't even think I have the skill sets to the, do that. Someday, I hope. But this is sort of middle ground where you have a body. Already pre exists, Exactly. And, and you're then, modifying. And then you've modified it. So maybe you could sort of get into some of the details of this one specifically as to what you changed over the stock body. Well, what I did here is I added the... Uh, King cab or the ex, uh, extended cab. Yep. And then I also modified the fender wells to hold the the dualies. Okay. And then I put a full interior truck bed inside. Yep. With uh, working uh, truck beds. Yep. Or truck uh, boxes. Yep. And then uh, I took down the uh, I took the um, uh, the front end. Okay. And I decided to go with uh what is that uh oh i can't i can't think of the name of, of the front end uh armor uh like an armor coat or yeah, yeah armor uh armor guard or oh, okay. something like that front end okay i took it off the website or uh, the internet i googled a whole bunch of different types of bumpers yep and then i just started duplicating and that's out of steel okay uh 16 gauge okay uh which i cut i've made a template out of cardboard first and then uh i just um uh started brazing it up and that's what you see so what you're telling me is this basically this whole front end is a is a custom build custom that, build right out of 16 gauge steel wow really really yeah. well done and and so it really sort of adds to this this whole whole project now any modifications to the roof line anything uh, like that? not the roof line okay. I the hood yes okay I put the two the vents on the top oh yeah and okay. I raised the hood on it uh, I don't know what they're called but you know I raised these two yeah, parts. Yeah, nice little texture, nice little uh, detail right yeah. there. Uh, these seem to be, uh, that isn't stock, is it? These no, no, I built those just out of, uh, I bought uh, diamond plating sheets, Okay. ABS, 
and then I decided just to make some boxes, right. wrap it around, right. and glue it and paint it up. Really and really that's nice. that's the the outcome. You put this on your custom chassis? Yes, I yes, did. Yes. Yeah. So this is your custom chassis. Yeah. And I think there's a theme with all of them where you sort of do your own custom chassis. Yes, uh, okay. all out of aluminum. Right. And uh, wheels, wheel combination? Uh, they're the the, uh, the dualies from RC Four Wheel Drive. Okay. Uh, I tried to get the wheels, the front wheels and the back wheels are not the same tires. Okay. Uh, because I wanted the back wheels to be a little thinner. Right. So that it wouldn't look so wide. Sure. But I had to find the same diameter because they're four wheel drive and one would overrun the other one if they weren't the same size. So I believe the back ones are the 1.9 trail busters. Okay. And I think the, the front ones are the 1.5. Gotcha. Uh, can't remember the name of the tires, but I think they're 1.5s. Really nice, really nice. What about interior? What did you do there? Is that custom or is that yeah, what I, with it? Yeah, those come with the RC four wheel drive seats. Okay. You know, the, yep. the racing seats. Yep. And I put a full cage inside, roll bar. Yep. And then I just made my dash because I have a similar truck, but in a, in a two wheel drive. Okay. So I just went inside in my truck and started looking at the dash. Sure. And that's what I came up with. It's the, you know, you make, a good point. you make a good point. I mean, how many of us have this specific model sitting in our laneway, right? You know, one to one, and then oftentimes we want to replicate that. And here is an incredible version of, of what you have similar in your own laneway. What about suspension? Uh, what have you done there? Uh, that's a four link okay. suspension. Yeah. Uh, with the, uh, I can't remember the name of the axles. That's because you have so many of them, right? Yeah, I, I, guess I have over 70 vehicles. <laughs> Can so. you believe he has over 70 of these things? Oh my God. <laughs> and uh, oh, what else? That's, and yeah. then the shocks. They're all 90 mil shocks. Okay. In the front and back. Nice, really nice. So, okay, so this obviously is sort of the, the first uh, opportunity where you said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna customize, I'm gonna build yourself an RC tiny truck and use a new bike body and make it custom. Yes, right. Awesome example of how to start to get to this level. That's how you start. You betcha. Then you know how to work the, the styrene, right. you get your, your feel for proportions. Yeah. You know. And then you custom paint this, of course? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah they're, all, they're all custom painted. Sometimes I'll go to, um, I'll get the dupe color, uh, the scratch paint from, uh, from Kane Tire or any automotive. Sure. And if there's a paint that I can't, find I'll go get it mixed right oh well wow. yeah okay. I'll okay. go online uh, I'll find out you know what's the specific color for that year yeah and I'll get it to paint it to keep it original gotcha well um, so let we're gonna transition to another Chevy we'll probably start with the red one that's on my side here um, and the nice thing about this yeah just pop that over there the nice thing about this one oh, first of all first of all absolutely incredible this thing is unbelievable the this sort of red color that you've painted this is unreal um, let's 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 get into some details about this one specifically uh, I think we have an opportunity to take the body off and we'll get to see the chassis yeah um, but uh, just just describe this is a complete custom body if complete right right what, what is it what is it it's a it's a 60 I believe it's a 60 for Chevy, okay. or oh, sorry, GMC. All right, right. And uh, I decided to go with the with the, with that year because then I wouldn't have to curve the windshield <laughs> because I believe that the '62 had a curved windshield. Okay. And I didn't want to get into that again. Right. Uh, but that's why I went with the with the with the '64 or the '63. Oh, gotcha. Um, now let's, let's get into um, some of the build techniques and so on. So we we've gone from a new bright body to a full custom. How do you do this? How do you make a full custom body? Like what, uh, what are the again? Are we using styrene? Is this a styrene? It's, a, it's all it's all styrene. Okay. Uh, start off googling trucks. Okay. The year and the model that I'm looking for. Right. Then I'll download all the pictures I need, side view, front view, back view, yeah, as many views as I can get, so I can keep it as as uh, realistic as possible, as scale as possible. Okay. And then I hand draw it on a piece of cardboard. Really? Yeah. Uh, I have a kind of a portion, you know, the front end usually the front cab I usually go about nine ten inches. Okay. And then 
the back about 10, 11 inches. Gotcha. And that's a kind of keep, a, that's kind of a good scale version. Okay. Uh, you know, and I go with eight inches at the front and eight inches at the back, uh, the width of it. Um, so then, you make a good point. So why, why, why are you going to this width? I think one of the uh, challenges that we have and the bodies that exist out there is oftentimes you have axles that are this wide and you've got bodies that are this wide. And you know you end up in uh, like a mini monster truck or a that's, monster truck. That's right. Um, so it looks like you're trying with making it scale. You're trying to put the bodies over top of the wheels. And that's is that right. what your strategy yeah, is? Yeah, exactly. Here? Because I was so tired of going on eBay and trying to find bodies that I could that are wide enough. Right. That that it would look scale. Yeah. But yet. Uh, not break the bank. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> so, uh, uh, time frame, how, again, you sort of, you had mentioned this in an earlier video, but what, what, so how long did this take? Uh, uh, I would say about a month and a half. That's unreal. Yeah. That's a really from, unreal. From start to, from start to finish. And of course, all the bumpers are custom made. Um, yeah. And you're making those out of metal, I would yeah. assume? Yeah, uh, sorry, 16 gauge steel. Okay. And uh, uh, braise them, cut yeah. them. Uh, on my next, uh, if you guys have me back, I'll bring one that to show you how I, I do it. Okay. All right. And uh, it's just gorgeous. Um, what about a, a chassis? Maybe we have an opportunity to, to lift the body off of this. Um, uh, and you sort of do your chassis are are sort of consistent yes. with all of them. Yeah, exactly. Um, really, really well done. Maybe we'll uh, we'll pop the the body off. Alrighty. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. So let's just set that beside there. So here we go. Here is uh, the chassis that that he puts this under. Uh, fully custom chassis. Fully aluminum. So what I do is once I get the body made, I'll turn it upside down. Right. And then I use a piece of cardboard and I'll trace out the the frame, the inside frame of uh, of uh, of the truck. Right. And then after I transfer it, I figure out how I want to put my motor. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then I transfer it onto a piece of MDF. Yeah. Quarter inch. Yeah. And then I make a, a fake scale or a fake uh, frame. Right. Mock up. Mock up. Yeah. And I just glue it all together, and then I get all my parts and figure out all where I have to line everything up. And once I have that done, then I transfer to aluminum, and then I have everything I need. I don't have to. There's no guesswork. Sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. in the aluminum, you only have one chance. It's, uh, and so custom interior again, all your brazing of your tube work. Yep. Really well done. Uh, you can sort of really get a good example of what the, the chassis is doing here. Uh, suspension, you what? Uh, four link setups. Four link setup. Yeah. I like it, uh, the four link because there's more travel. Oh, right. And I know the, I know the, the uh, leaf springs will look more scale, but I just like the 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 way that the, it it it, it uh, travels travels and, and it's set up right and and the, uh, by the way these things are <laughs> quite heavy uh, there is solid construction going on here really solid construction uh, quite heavy um, really nice they're now, probably what. I would oh say my God. 15. It's a workout. I'm having a workout here. It's 15, really 20 is. pounds, something like that. Uh, yeah, th yeah, there's some mass here for sure. Um, obviously, some simple electronics. Um, and then um, this is the RC four wheel drive transmission or yeah. T case that I see right there. Uh, sort of tucked in right there. Really well done, really well designed. You obviously gave it a lot of thought. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Axles K44, is something I see? Uh, no, those? Those, are the, those are the. Uh, the those are the Yodas. Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Yoda. With, uh, with and I a... put a diff cover. Right. Different right. diff cover. Right. Really, really well done. And then, um, of course, this is the body of this one in particular. And, you can, again, you can see the size, the mass of this is, and, and the finish is just unreal. So, another beautiful piece of art that you've done Thank here. You. Really well done. So, uh... Continuing with our Chevy theme and the awesomeness that all of this is, um, we have another one. Well, we have a few more to look at. So we've got this guy that's just been hinting at to all you viewers out there. What are we looking at here? That's a six. That's a '72 GMC. Okay. And that's a more of a, a pre-runner desert truck style. Okay. Because when I do custom, I like to add my own little flair to them. Okay. You know, this, there's a, uh, you don't have to do exactly. 
you can do it, uh, you know, your own little version. Sure, of course, and, you right? Know, and that's, a, that's a joy about this hobby. You can do whatever you want. You're right, but that's right. You can make it stock if you want. You can that's make right. it, uh, uh, as you say, this is sort of a desert buggy, and it certainly has got that feel. If you look, um, some of the uh, interior and box uh, goodies going on here, spare tire, uh, fuel cell, fuel cell, uh, water jerry can. can, water can, very desert buggy That's racing feel to exactly. it. Exactly. Um, so anything you need to be with your need in the desert. An aggressive light bar across the front there. That's kind of a nice little touch. Um, so again, completely custom. Completely custom. Uh, the 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 our suspension arms. Those are from uh, the uh, Viteras. Yep. Um, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. The uh, Blazer Viterra build. No, the uh, the oh. uh, the other one. Uh, the uh, Twin Hammers. Yes, that's Twin right. Twin Hammers. Gotcha. And I did that's and then I got the I got the suspension Let's arms. Show me one that. I got the suspension arm from RC Four Wheel Drive. Yep. Wow. I mean, I'm having a hard time lifting these things. They're so heavy. Uh, and, and, and the travel on this one in particular is yeah, really aggressive, yeah, right? Yeah, there, there's quite a bit of, of travel on this one. Yeah, just show, look at that, guys. Look at that. You know, you can just... put your complete fist underneath it. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, and then also the front end also has pretty much wild travel. Now, do you use these much? Do you, do you have, uh, are they on the trail much? I use them a little bit, okay. but I'm always a little nervous of getting them, tipping them over. So and you're a builder and not necessarily a whole lot of trail time, but yeah, I, I do we're going to have to change that. Yeah, exactly. We're going to have to change that. We're going to have to see these things running and grooving. Um, okay, uh, wheels, these look like... Uh, Those are just a stock of uh, steel wheels from yeah. RC Four Wheel Drive. Okay. And then the tires are uh, they're just, uh, I bought these ones from... Uh, from a supplier in China. Yep. Uh, everything same else, chassis. Same chassis. Same chassis. Interior is very similar. Very, very, Custom. Very, yeah, very similar. Now the the wheels and uh, sorry the 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 chairs and the seats and so on. Are you casting those? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm doing is a lot of times if I find a body, if I go to uh, the um, uh, Salvation Army okay. or Value Village, I'll look for a, a new bright body or something like that. And if I find parts that I like. Okay. I'll buy it, take it home, cast them. Okay. Then I have the parts for the seats, uh, steering wheel, whatever I want to want to cast. And I've casted the Proline stuff too. Have you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, anything that challenged you with any of these builds? Do you find that you know maybe the bumpers are difficult, or maybe getting your lines correct? Like what 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 really challenges you in these oh, builds? Like these. Uh, these? They all have their individual challenge. Yeah, I bet they do. And once I start, I said, why did I start this? <laughs> and then halfway through, I'm like, oh, I, I'm never going to do this. <laughs> but I'm a very persistent person. I can see that. And uh, I'll work through any type of situation. Sure. Uh, you just have to have patience. Right. And just, you know what I mean? A lot of times I get frustrated with it. Yeah, I'll walk put, away. I'll, I'll walk away. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Sometimes I have sleepless nights. Okay, how am I going to do this? But it all works out at the end. Uh, look at the grill on that, guys. Look at it. It's it's, it's just unreal. Like the grill work uh, is is unbelievable, and I find it so difficult uh, for those guys that remember. I have a I have a wood paneled blazer, uh, and I wanted to do a custom grill on that, and uh, I just found it too daunting. I had to put the stock grill on it, and just I just and and then to see this whole thing and the and and the the noses on these things are un real uh unbelievable um the hardest part on some of these bills yeah. are the grills i can only imagine you know how to fabricate the grills uh you know and also the tail lights uh how to incorporate them in right uh the body is body is is, is daunting enough but right. it's always the grill that makes the truck i bet i bet it tr and you know what that's that's true right um I really like it. Uh, this is this is just mind blowing. Um, and the good news is we've got one more that we're going to look at. That's of course, right. he's got uh, some something like seventy of them at home. This is just a so you sampling. might see me off. Yeah, yeah. This is just a sampling of, of some of those uh, some of the ones that you have out there. Uh, why don't we pull this one across and we'll have a look? Uh, of course, um, we've got we've got another one here in front of us. This is a what? 
Uh, 55 Chevy. Okay, 55. Okay. With a step, uh, step side. Okay. Uh, pre-runner. And yeah, sort of a pre-runner, desert runner, yeah. uh, bot kind hog kind of. That's right. I found this one on the internet. Okay. The, 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 the draw, look? Yeah, the okay. look. Okay. Is um, this another custom? Yes. Yes, of course. Yes, they're all custom. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> um, now, this one, uh, really, really a nice paint scheme that you've done on that. So maybe we'll just talk a bit about uh, how uh, you choose your colors um, and, you know, how you paint and, um, you know, where you get your colors from and so on and so forth. Well, the colors, uh, again, I'll go on the internet, okay. I'll take a look and see what what they were. Oh, my, my hood scoop. <laughs> um, haven't decided if I want to put that one on yet. Right, right. Well, that's all right. Um, I'll go on the internet, take a look at the colors, see what they were in at that eight, at that time. Yeah. And then if I don't like it, then I'll kind of look for something similar. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, something that, that catches my eye. Sure. You know, there's certain colors that they used back then that I wasn't overly keen on. Right. So I'll go to uh, uh, just a local paint shop in Ottawa. Okay. And I'll uh, I'll go. I'll. She knows me right quite well, and she gives me all the sample books. Sure. And then about an hour later, <laughs> yeah. And okay. asking her if she can mix this one and that one. Right. Uh, I'll get her to mix up a, a can. Okay. And uh, away you go. And I wait. Way I go. Wow. Yeah. Um, bumper here, it looks like, is that uh, chrome tape on that? What's no, that one? No, okay. that's just, I polish it. Okay. Uh, I, that's all hand bent. Okay. And then after I took some, um, uh, some polishing compound. Right. With my buffing wheel. Yep. And I buff it. Oh, okay. Until it comes to a shine. Right. And now, what about this guy here? What, uh, what finishes on that one? That one is the, uh, the chrome tape. That okay. You can, not tape, but, um. Uh, a foil, okay, aluminum foil that you can buy at a local hobby shop. All right, um, and I just apply it, and you just buff it until it comes. It's really, really thin. Okay, and it's 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 hard to put on. Right, but it's like a sticker almost. Yeah, like you can it's, stick it's, it on. And, yeah, okay, it's gotcha. extremely extremely thin. Right, so you don't see any of the the seams or anything like that. So that one that one took a little longer. The the, the bumper. I'm, I'm sure it did. Uh, another fantastic grill on the front of these these uh, trucks. This one is uh, a great year and, and a beautiful uh, grill on the front of that. Um, and then uh, you've got a bunch of tube work uh, in the back of this that really sort of uh, warrants that, uh, you know, yep. uh, desert feel to it. Uh, another big, heavy uh, unit. Uh, really, really well done. Let's talk about... Um, now you do your own bracing. Yes. All your tube work. All, is all tube work. All done. I'll again. I'll I'll go on the online. Take okay. a look. I'll I'll type in roll bar. Truck yep. roll bars. And I'll get different. This one is is I well not identical but very close to the one that is online. Okay. Uh, on Google. Yep. I just Google a fifty five Chevy. Where you go? And away I go. You betcha. And this desert truck came up. And this one was a kind of a greenish one. Okay. And I looked at it and I just I love the truck but not the color. Sure. And uh, if I'm going to spend a lot of time on it, I'm going to put the color that I like. Of course, why wouldn't you, right? You know what I mean? And uh, the color combinations, you know, with the wood or with the white hood or the roof yep. and the sides, those were, uh, those were the, the styles back then. Sure, sure. Back then they had, had a lot of white roofs. Now, um, what about your windows and your windscreens? Is that, that's obviously some sort of clear Lexan that's a that's a or... laxan or acrylic okay uh different widths or different thicknesses okay i like using the thicker ones because yep. if i'm bending it with the heat gun it just won't it won't uh it won't uh warp won't as, as bad right right and i have more control with this one okay and then i you know i'll cut out two or three different uh two or three same uh uh, uh sketches yeah so that if i screw up one Sure. I do another one until I get it right. Sure. Uh, now, some of your lenses for, let's say, your light bars or your uh, headlights, those look familiar, sort of a stock? Uh, that's uh, that's the from the Tamiya. Okay. That's right. a Tamiya High Lift uh, uh, front lights yep. and lens. Yep. Uh, these ones are from uh, RC Four Wheel Drive. Okay. And then, of course, these look like they're an axial uh, tail light uh, to some extent. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, 
Can we take the uh, chassis? Yeah, uh, sure. Can we expose the chassis on this one? So the back end comes off okay. like that. And then the front end comes off like that. Again, uh, guys and gals, this this uh, chassis and uh, they're just unreal. You can see the, the the rails here. So this is your aluminum bit. Here. That's right. So what what just describe this aluminum to us? That's just a flat uh, 552 aluminum. Okay. And I just cut it with my table saw. Okay. I make a pattern. Yep. And and then I just sand it, and I just uh, screw it together. Right. Uh, what I do, well, uh, what I'll do is. Uh, I'll use some aluminum uh, epoxy. I'll glue it all together. Okay. And at first, and then once the glue sets, then what I'll do is I'll go and pre-drill all my holes, and then I'll screw them all together just for added support. Because the aluminum glue is good, but not it won't it won't uh, it won't uh, stand up. Okay. So that's why I screw everything. Smart. Now uh, your your sort of your fenders here. And, Those are and all your tub. And you seem as though you have a tub in all of them. Yeah, those are my skid plates. Okay. Uh, just so that when I am when I do take them on the trail, I'll you know they slide off rocks, right. and there's there's nothing to catch right. on it. They're steel, are they not? Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's 16 gauge. Okay. Uh, the fend uh, the the inner fender wells, those are just uh, a styrene. Okay. And then I put a full cage underneath, right to the back. Just so I can protect my body. Sure you can. Sure. Yeah, of course. Because once my body is on, I want to protect as much as I can. Because if you get a rock coming up, right. I want it to hit the frame instead of the body. Right. Really and nice. uh, and we can tear it I all up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's the, the frame rail that sort of sits below the frame rail. Um, and uh, it's, yeah, obviously going to protect uh, give protect. you some protection. Exactly. Um, now I see that with with this sort of this build here, it's modular. So you've got your your back end with your accessories, yeah. and that yet on the chassis you still have some of the accessories that exist. That's right. So it sort of all comes together when you put it together. That's right. Because um, I had to <clears throat> fasten my shocks. Oh, right. To the frame. Right. And I figure, well, I might as well add parts to it. Right. So you and can I, see. And then I cut the hole out. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, you can see that the the nice the frame rail here meets the suspension. Really well done. So it all it all you know, it's all fit and finish. Yeah. It takes a long time to get it all a couple tries. Sure it does. You know, sometimes I screw up, but then you can buy more styrene. Start <laughs> over again. Yeah, of course. You must have a small fortune in styrene. Oh yes, oh yeah. The guy <laughs> likes me a lot at uh, sure the hobby shop. I'm sure he does. Well, now I buy it in the f I, I buy it by uh, four by four sheets. Of course you do. Yeah, that's uh, probably the most cost effective. Yeah, I'll right. get eighty. I'll get the whole range. Yeah. Uh, so that if I need to flex it. Yeah. Because a lot of these bodies, what I'll do is I'll make the bodies. Yeah. And then I'll skin it. Okay. With uh, twenty gauge. Okay. Or twenty thou. Yeah. And then that's how I make my body lines. If you take a look at my body lines, I'll the next couple of builds I'll, I'll be able to show you once I build another one. I'll show you exactly and all my body lines. I'll cut the piece. I'll make my panel. I'll okay. glue it on and then I'll put my next body line on. Oh, okay. So that's how I keep a nice body line. I don't have to scribe it after. Isn't that amazing? It truly is. I do scribe it once after I'm painting it. Okay. Because the paint will fill up the the body right. lines. Right. And I just use a scriber and I I'll just go over it, you know, yeah. as as I go. And then after it's all done, I'll just take a little marker wow. and I'll just fill in fill my in the marker. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I remember the first time I had to fill in the body lines on your typical Hilux, I actually used a pin and, and flat black paint and was like filling it in and it took forever. And then I was talking to Chris and he's like, just use a marker, a fine tip marker. I was like, oh my God, that's like the greatest idea ever. And you know, that's again, you know, we have a community, right? That's right. And, and so we having helping. you here is we giving me a lot of insight and all of us insight as to some of the things that uh, that well, can the be trick, done. Trick of the trade. Tricks of the you, trade. Know, you know what I mean? And you certainly have the tricks of the trade. Um, do you mind sort of putting this one back together so yeah, we can certainly. see it come together as one? <clears throat> I think you got to start with the. So we'll start with the the back end. Yeah, I'm gonna just. No, move sorry, this with over. the front end. Okay, so let's just pull this one right over in front of the camera. <clears throat> so we're just going to slip this on just like this. There we go. Perfect. And then this one, just like that. Look at that. And that's how, a lot of pieces I don't bother gluing in because sometimes if I don't like it, right. 
like this hood scoop. Right. You know, I'll leave it on. Yep. I'll, I'll make it, and then I'll say, well, you know, do I like it? Yeah. You know, I'll leave it on for six months, and then if I like it, then I decide to glue it on. Makes sense. Makes complete You know sense. what I mean? It's really neat to sort of see it go from a chassis, as you say, your sort of modular design. It all comes together into this amazing truck. Um, this was an amazing experience for me. Uh, I hope it's an amazing experience for you guys. Uh, I want to say that you're an absolutely talented uh, builder. You are uh, almost second to none. There are uh, some really top-notch builders out there, and I would consider you one of them. Thank you very much. Um, as I said, I went to the local event and was simply amazed at, uh, at what you can do. Uh, oftentimes, for us, we, we, we struggle to have our own custom truck, and we end up having a Hilux or uh, a well, blazer. Well, that's, how I, uh, that's yeah. how I started mine. And I, and I think we all strive to have our, our own sort of custom build, and uh, you're doing it, man. You're really doing it. So uh, I really want to thank you for coming today. What um, you see here is a lot of, you know, I started probably in 2006. Okay. Started this, you yeah. know what I mean? I started with the with the, the Hilux. Yeah. I got the Ford F-350, yeah. and that's how I progressed. Well, uh, simply amazing. I hope to have you back. Um, Thank you very much. As, as, as he has said, we, he has over 70 trucks, so I'm sure um, this is a bit of a, uh, a Chevy theme. Um, and uh, we'll have you back for some, uh, some more rig reviews uh, and see some of the other talents and works of art that you have. So thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, guys, um, thanks for being there. Uh, an incredible day here at GCM. Uh, like, subscribe, and, and thanks for being there. Thank you.